we have made a few changes since Greenland, which is exciting. So hopefully we're heading in the right direction. And how are you feeling this morning? Very good. Very good. Uh, yesterday uh, in Kualichu, uh, it was really uh, disappointing because we, are, we were fast. Uh, we had a good pace with Emma. Very good setup. So today, crazy race. Uh, we have to win. Just need to be more aggressive over the rough stuff at, at the flag point six. So I've got lip turn fast four right over bumps. But again, this whole yeah. 22, 23, 24 is f***ing quick to read that. Any car when you go sideways into dips. No, sideways into dips, you know. Yeah. That, it's never ever good. ends well, yeah. even in trophy choices. So definitely this dry car um, in Southern is, is very tough very rough and drivers are going to push more and more so yeah it's, it's quite likely we're going to see uh, a few of those uh, events happen. It's going to be three of us vying for the final one spot in the final. It's going to be all on uh, to the first corner uh, which is a long way away and, and you can't see it so it's uh, it's going to be a challenge but yeah can't wait. Look look uh, is they right to avoid uh, the dust? Yeah Emma? Yeah. That's what I told you if you are second behind somebody you're so you're better off being alone. If you can't be first, be alone. I was, I was surprised Ant went to the outside. Oh, uh, steering. steering. Oh, right, like again. Look his face. Yeah. The Matador will be pissed off. <laughs> Saints is failure. Did you hit something for the steering, for the steering to go, or was it? Um, they didn't have any touch. Uh, before, fl flag free. Do you know how to call somebody that has no uh, body and uh, has no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> That's a bad day joke. Hey, uh, <laughs> do you know? Uh, do you know how to call uh, an American B? A USB. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Oh, good luck. Mm. Yeah. Thanks. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, yes. I'll do best. Good luck. Come on. Yeah. Did we do this yesterday? I don't know if we did. Yeah, we did. But not for Q2. But you didn't take the start. True. So you didn't drive. Ideally, it would have been perfect. Come on, good luck. Enjoy. Enjoy. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, boss. Thank you, Feeling excited? Very excited. Let's see how that goes. Need to win this one. <laughs> so we have JBXC, Veloce Racing, and Excite Energy Racing all ready to go. You know what you've got to do now? Only the winner will make the final. The start is even more crucial. We've seen the carnage in the other semi finals. Great reaction time. JBXC going to try and squeeze Emma Gilmore across. Kevin Hansen gets the whole shot on that side of the grid. Gilmore changes the line immediately. Doesn't want to get caught in the dust. No, no, no. Bennett, he's been trompé de chemin. Can Bennett and Gilmore carry enough speed through here to beat him to the merge? Oh, he's not pushed the port. Focus now. It's gathering together. Stay with the leaders. Remember, five cars in the final. Somebody's going to have to do something different if they want to try and make it to the front. Come on, Emma. It's risk versus reward. We talk about that a lot in this championship, but it's so true. Remember, wipers, wipers. And there's Gilmore coming through as well. Gilmore with the wipers will be on immediately. There goes Kevin now. Let's use these fast sections, Emma. Cool. You can do this, come on. We missed the waypoint. Okay. 42, so it's... Bennett. Yeah, that is Bennett. So at the start, waypoint two is where they oh. swing around, and I just wonder he missed the target approach and went on a different line. You you spotted it, oh, yeah. and that different line might not have been through the waypoint. Good. Let's go now. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep the pressure on the people in front. Every second counts now. So Emma Gilmore has closed up the gap. Look, they're very very close behind. Box one. Confirm. Box one. Don't forget to put the car fully in the zone. Yeah. Fifteen seconds. Lap three, five, four, three, two, one, drive. Right, the fight is on. Okay, Steph, big ask to push from the start now. Push from the start. This is Sarazan chasing them down. Here we go. Let's see how this is going to go. 26 seconds. Oh, God. Again, she's there. Drive through her. We're after the car in front. Sarazan, we know, is a real chaser. He took that incredible line up in Greenland. He's right behind Christine Gigi now. So easy to drive through her. She is feeling Sarazan and the Veloce car all over her back 
broken. Sarazan really trying to force her into a mistake. It's only a moment of time, I think. This must feel horrible for Christine GZ in that car. Keep chipping away here, mate. Come on. Sarazan will take any opportunity. Can to come past. He looks up the inside line into this long right-hander. This is high danger here. There are big ruts that have developed over this track. And if you get in one of those, it can launch you off to the side. So this isn't the moment to do it. Okay, the gap is 21 seconds. 21 seconds of the car in front. Oh no, what's happened? The steering's gone. It looks like the Excite Energy team are out of this. They've had a crash. So the Veloce are through now. What disaster for Excite Energy. But look at this. What can they do now? Sereza, full beans. He's on the hunt for JBX. He remember, one place. That's it. Only one car goes through to the final. Sereza didn't touch it there, did he? No. She just slid out by. There is zero pressure from behind. No pressure from behind. The race is in front of you. The gap's come down by a second there, 19 to 18. They're halfway around the course though. He's running out of time to do this. I'm gutted for Christine GZ. Oh! Oh! oh. It's okay, Steph. It's okay. Stefan from Ian. Please confirm that you are okay. Oh! Is it on, Machines had a wheel off, he's on his roof. Game over for Veloce again. He had to risk it, but the car has been destroyed. They're parked at the side of the road. Drama in the crazy race. Whoops. There's no rear wheel, so. <laughs> Probably a rock. You're right. Yeah, he looks okay. He's walking fine, around. yeah. Good for that. Yep. Most important. There we go. Side kick it. Mate, it's soaking right. Yeah. There goes the camera. That was an intense crash, one of the biggest that we've seen this season. What was your thoughts with Emma watching this? Well, uh, the, the, the first thought is uh, it was a relief to see uh, Stefan out of the car, so it seems, uh, it seems okay. We knew Stefan could make it at the end, so he knew he had to push very hard. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad he's okay and out of the car. Just unlucky scooter or he knew about that bump? I don't know. It's, it's very easy to react at this point. Yeah, yeah. We have to wait and, and analyse and see, you know, where. Clearly, we were at maximum risk level, you know? Yeah. Can I just say that yeah. when someone gains a position from missing a flag point, they should be a race command saying, give your position back. He never went through flag two. Yeah, and it, it's one of those things, isn't it? In hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, it's yeah. an investigation, but. But I mean, it changed the whole race. Like, I mean, he got yeah. an advantage by getting yeah. in front, he overshot. You know, and then it's stuck in our race. This is all right. This is all right. This is all right. Have they talked to him? Have they? Stefan, has anyone talked to him? Uh, the medic car fetched him helmet yeah. off and he was walking, so. Yeah, it's good we're talking about the damper issue. But Emma makes a very good point that, that um, GB. And, no, not JB. Um, Bennett's never went through flag point two, so they yeah, got in got, front of us. Yeah, got a penalty for that. Yeah, but yeah, they should but have to give up the position. I thought in the switch they might do that. They might hold yeah, them to let us pass. So they've already lost that much time. Like, they've got instantly an advantage with yeah. no dust. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just disappointing. Yeah. And like, it's not going to be the first or last time it happens. Yeah. Like, you're going to miss waypoints when there's so many. Yeah. You need to, need to change the rules to adjust to, to yeah. yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I try, uh, I try to catch him. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. You okay? I'm okay. I'm simply missing the board. I try, but. You're okay? I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm okay. No! Big one. Big one, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> make sure you're okay. You look okay, but that's the that's the simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The biggest one you've ever had, is it? That's it in your life? I attack, I attack uh, the bumper. Uh, what happened? Too fast. I went outside to avoid the first bump. Yeah. Second bump, like yesterday, I ride straight to don't make uh, any mistake. You know, straight, yeah. but maybe 10 kph, uh, 5, 10 k, 5 oh, kph, yeah. and my car flew like hell. For now, put it all on the floor and we take pictures. What do they mean by green? Well, it's battery thread. Um, so, that when after the accident, uh, the electrical safety system in the car has a red and a green light. 
So it's flashing between red for dangerous and green as if there's a voltage leak. So they have to go through and make sure the car is fully safe. I mean, it's electric, not a, a petrol engine before anybody can touch it. I think there was a, a wheel that landed in Cagliari. Yeah, yeah. You can uh, get it there. springs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. There's about three spring went to Corsica. Stuff. It was... Because I was not fast, but suddenly he started to... And at one point I was in it, was finished. Yeah, yeah. And then was hard. Lance, do you uh, do you recognise any of these pots? Yeah, recognise them a fair bit. Um, they are not nice to see. You know, the door door padding and protection, front bonnets, part of the part of the shock internals, brake disc broken. Um, bit of an aeroplane crash, not nice. It's quite easy to make the wrong plan at this particular time. Uh, we've got uh, Bovington in a few weeks' time. Um, and yeah, we just need to plan. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to miss the suspension test tomorrow, so we have to take that into consideration. It's now just planning and, and organisation and costing. Everyone puts so much effort into them, and it's just heartbreaking to see it so badly damaged. Not good. Why is that keep in the way coming. You fucking sure? Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. So you can see from behind me the boys are busy stripping the chassis. There's extensive rear damage to it which means unfortunately the car needs to go back uh, to ART to get repaired um, before the next race of the championship in, in England. So uh, you know the suspension test for us tomorrow is, is not possible and neither is the rookie test. You know I feel a little bit sorry for people like Hader and Lance they came a long way for the, for the rookie test but for sure as a company we will make sure they get the, their time in the car. Uh, before the end of the season, so it's uh, a little bit like after Saudi to rebuild the car, regather our thoughts, and um, you know, come back for a strong challenge in England.